There's no bad time for Pride Wars. It's just so good. Um, and uh, I think it should be in the Criterion Collection. You know, it's it's, and I think films. I mean, that everyone should be studying Casey, it. Did it did it make the AFI list this year? I didn't see it there, but it sounds like from Drew's review, it really should have been on there. Yeah, I wish the reviewers were as kind as Drew Barrymore. I absolutely love it. And also, you guys both have very prolific careers in that you both have your podcast, Bitch Sesh, and How Did This Get Made? You collaborate with each other, you write, you act, you work with fellow comedians. I mean, this is not only looks like so much fun from the outside looking in, but what you put out into the world is necessary. I need comedy. It is my yeah. it is my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is my Lexapro. I'm on that too. But I love. I need to at 20 milligrams right now. I like could stick a fork in my leg. I wouldn't. Feel Listen, it. I'm on a cocktail right now. That's keeping me keeping a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you do <laughs> with your guys' dogs, work. So do you have so much fun making it to put it out there? We do, oh, honestly, yes. I think, yes. I mean, I do such important work, uh, you know, on my podcast talking about the Real Housewives and poignant work <laughs> in that sphere. And, but I think getting to work with June my whole career and trying to write, not to be cheesy, but truly trying to write stories for women and just entertain, good old fashioned entertain, especially in these times. I, I do love to do that and love to make people laugh. And I do think we need it, that and my Will Butrin, you know, we need it. Drew, you should just put on like the Chiron instead of saying like June and Casey, it should just say the doses of antidepressants we're all on. Um, I do think that comedy is so important. And my, you know, Casey and I have been best friends since we were 18. We've known each other since freshman year of college. And so five we've just years. always found <laughs> each other five years. Yeah, that's just about five years ago now. I mean, we just have fun together. And Bride Wars was the first job we ever had in the entertainment industry. June, you know, we tell this June, story I'm sorry a lot, to cut you off, true. June. Casey and I had... June, I'm so sorry to cut What's you off. That? My first job was a bloated stomach commercial. Go on. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about that. You know what? I don't think there's anything that's more important to me in my life. In fact, the very first, you know, segment of this show that I am so lucky to do I asked my two girlfriends to come join me, Lucy Liu and Cameron Diaz. Like, my money is where my mouth is. My girlfriends, wow. who I get to do things with, who I get to laugh with, live life with, love with, be yes. honest, make jokes, create with. That's mm -hmm. the dream. And when I look at you guys outside, I just am marveling at what you're doing. I'm a huge fan girl and I just am cheering you on, and I want to be in your club anytime you'll have me. And oh, thank you for saying open. that. I appreciate you saying that. Well, I yeah. think, June, you <laughs> could probably sell anybody anything because you. the way that you spoke about womanhood and being alive and being a mom and trying to get it all done was so relatable and inspiring that it was the perfect segue into the Jane Club, and this is the perfect segue into the fact that we have um, four moms in our virtual friends and family wall, our VFFs, with two BFFs, who are going to get um, memberships, uh, Gwinnett, Tamika, Gina, and Erin. Um, and June is gifting you each six months worth of memberships. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so thrilled that you all are joining us there. I also love, I need to be deep and meaningful and I need to lighten it up. So I wanna talk Absolutely. about the real and what makes it all worth it. And it sounds like the Jane Club is the perfect place to do that. June and Casey, thank you so much. You can catch Casey on Showtime's Black Monday and check out June's amazing organization, The Jane Club. And also, you're still on Grace and Frankie. I'm gonna tell you, Netflix Bye. doesn't mess around. Even a successful show, they'll kill it after three seasons. You're going into season seven. <laughs> Well, that's really, yes. We Well, we are one of their first comedies. Um, I'm so proud to be in a show that talks about women aging also in a, in all of their, in, in their, you know, in their hilariousness, their sexuality, their 
friendship. Um, it's really, it's such a special show. Well, maybe you and Casey should do, do a show about how you both sold your soul to the devil to look younger by the day. Yes. Thank you, Drew. Yes. I'm on it. Thank <laughs> well, you. Well, I'll be thinking about you guys tomorrow morning when I take my dose.